Hi everyone and welcome back. It's Vicky here and today I'm going to have some fun with Sizzix. So I will be using this Angel Bix die and uh, as I said before, one of the great things of using uh, Bix dies is that you can cut out thicker materials and not only paper. And this is exactly what I'm going to do today. I'm going to create a little angel which will be full of texture and you can use it as an ornament, you can decorate your house with it or your gifts or even you can put it on a gift tag but of course you can uh, place it on top of a card which I will be making today now all I'm doing is measuring and cutting out little pieces that I will be placing on top of my big die so that I can cut out many different shapes with one passing and in some of these pieces I am already adding some double sided tape before I cut them out. This way it's going to be super easy for me to add glitter later on. So I am running everything through my Big Shot to cut out all the images and this is by the way the fold away Big Shot. I did a review a while back and I am going to make sure to link that down below in the description area and at the end of the video. The, now there is also a giveaway running at C6 that you might want to check it out because there are three fold away Big Shot machines to be won. Make sure to visit my blog and find all about it. Now I want uh, the dress of my angel to be out of burlap and that's why I'm using this uh, self-adhesive piece. This is by Tim Holtz by the way and I'm going to stick that on top of a scrap piece of paper and I'm going to use this with my Sizzix die through my big shot and this is going to cut out the dress. And I did use uh, cardstock at the back just to make it more sturdy and you definitely need to do that especially if you want to use the angel as an ornament. And this is where the double sided tape that I used before cutting out my pieces is handy. So this is a sticker now and I can apply some uh, glitter on top to decorate my wings. The glitter that I'm using is fine glitter so it's going to stick nice on top of my wings and I'm also going to rub it with my finger just to make sure that everything is nicely stuck there. I am using my scissors at the top of the dress and I'm going to give a little bit of curve there and I'm doing the exact same thing as I did with the wings of my angel. I'm going to cover up completely the cutout heart with uh, glitter, but this time I'm using uh, red glitter. And again, before cutting out this heart, I did use some double sided tape, so this is easy for me. All I have to do is to just rub the glitter or push it harder so that I know that it's nicely stuck on top of the adhesive. Now I'm going to use a little bit of uh, white gesso and with a dry brush I'm going to apply a little bit over the dress of my angel. This is going to enhance and bring out the texture even more. This is totally optional, I just love the look and I like to do it over burlap. And as you can tell I am adding some uh, finishing touches to all the pieces that I have cut out. So here I am going around the face with vintage photo and the, with the finger dabber. And I will do the same thing over all the pieces just to bring everything together. So I am going around the dress and I will do that for the wings as well. And after preparing all the pieces it's time to do the assembling, putting everything together with some white glue. To embellish my angel even more I am tying a little bow with this string and on both ends I'm going to thread a couple of uh, jingle bells and I'm just going to tie them there so they can hang out of my angel and this will add shine as well as texture and sound on my project. And I'm going to finish it off by adding a glue dot at the back of the bow and stick it on top of the heart. 
You can add the loop and uh, it would be a great ornament for your Christmas tree. You can use it as a focal point on top of a Christmas wreath. You can decorate a tea light holder. So many ideas. Now I'm going to show you how you can quickly turn it into a card, but again you can use this angel in so many different ways. Now I've cut out a few pieces of pattern paper from this uh, uh, pattern paper collection which was from last year, I believe, by Tim Holtz. And I'm just going to assemble my card. By the way, I'm working on a craft colored card that's four and a quarter by five and a half, so that's a standard card. Since my angel is more on the vintage look, that's why I picked those colors. They are traditional, green and red, but they are muted, they are more distressed, so they will uh, uh, bring everything together nicely. Now, since I have uh, gold jingle bells on top of my angel, I am going to add a golden detail on top of my card base as well. So I have this uh, thin strip of uh, gold cardstock. And now all that's left to do is to stick uh, the angel on top of my card. So I added some white glue at the back. Now this card has a lot of dimension with these uh, jingle bells on top, so I will not send it through the mail, but I think it's a great card to add inside a gift that I will hand out for Christmas to a special friend. Now of course you can call this card done, but uh, I decided to go with the word joy, which I am going to spell out using this alphabet dice. And I used this uh, gold cardstock to cut out the words. This is the same cardstock uh, that I used for that uh, golden strip on the side of my card. So everything uh, matches uh, beautifully together. I'm adding some white glue at the back of the letters and I'm going to stick them on top of my angel. And that finishes off my card for today. I hope you had fun and got inspired to create these beautiful angels that are so versatile and you can use on so many different ways. Don't forget to visit my blog and find all about the Sizzix giveaway for winning one of the three fold away big shots. And as always, you will find links down below in the description area to all the products that I used for today. Thank you all so much for watching.